Hi everybody. In this short video I want to show you how to extract a substring from a string using uh, regex um, in, uh, in Scala. So I have a, um, a Scala object named regex demo uh, which extends app. This gives me my runnable application. And uh, Let's get started. First I'm going to create a pattern, a regex pattern. I'm going to call it year, month, day, hour because I'm going to extract a date from a file name string. You can extract any substring you want. All you need to do is take this example code and change the pattern that you want to extract from the string. So I'll name it year, month, day, hour. And now I'm going to use a raw string which is uh, closed in three quotes to create my uh, groups that I want to extract. So first group is going to be decimal four. Okay, uh, separated by a dash. If you didn't use the raw string with the three quotes, you'd have to escape the, the slash here. Okay, and then I'm going to use another group, slash decimal two. And I'm just going to repeat this one a couple more times, the dash and the decimal for a year, uh, for a day and hour. Okay. Now you have your raw string. Okay. And now you need to call a method. It's called the R method, and that converts it to a regex. This is one of my favorite features of Scala is it lets you do a lot of neat stuff with a minimal amount of code. So that raw string, uh, this pattern, has been um, converted into a regex by this uh, method R. Now, coming over here, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna create a uh, typical file name that I'm dealing with currently. I'm just, I'm just going to call it file name equals, I'll start it off with findings dash, pl okay, plus, and then I'm going to just create a random UUID dot, here I need to create this, okay. Well, the UUID is in the Java util, so you need to import the package. Import java.util. .uu. UUID, just like that. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to use the random UUID here. Plus string dash and then I'm going to create just a date so whatever today's date is 2018 dash uh, 09 dash 09 dash and it's nine o'clock so zero nine so year month day hour and I'm, I'll give it a, a dot gzip extension here so that that will be typical file name of course, you can use any string you want. Now, I will print, so I'll print out the file name. Okay. Now, to extract the string, you just apply the pattern. This is the, this is your regex pattern. You take that. So let, let's just, uh, I'll create a one, I'll create another variable called, uh, or a, uh, a value called extracted string or extracted date. Extracted date equals now apply the pattern year, month, day to the string. I'm going to apply the find first method. And I'm just going to get the first occurrence of this string, so file name, like that. And then you have to call the get method. 
let's uh, make sure that's the right name dot git okay file name git okay now uh, I'll print that up okay we can run this so let's run it and see what it gives us I guess I gotta click the run there we go this will take a few seconds to compile here Scala has got some great features in it if you're if you're uh, just getting into it one of the nice things it does for you is it cuts down a lot of code that you write even if you're not using you know you're not writing functional code because you're just new you're coming from object-oriented programming and you're uh, you're just you know locked into this imperative style right the nice the biggest benefit you're going to get up front is a reduction in the amount of code that you write and it integrates perfectly with Java obviously right okay so here's the findings that's the file name and I've extracted that string that I was looking for the date string now the next thing I personally needed to do when I got this date string was replace these characters, these dashes with backslashes or with slashes. Okay, so I'll I'll just do that in a print line statement. I'll call I'll actually I'll create another value called modified date equals uh, now all you need to do is just use the extracted date dot replace and uh, specify the, the original character which is a dash and the character that you want to replace that with just like that so now I'll print that out I'll run this again and in no time we should see an output okay there you have it the original file name extracted string and the modified string so I uh, couldn't be simpler thanks for watching and I beg you subscribe to my channel I am not shy about asking for subscriptions if you find any of these videos helpful please subscribe i uh, look forward to uh doing another one of these in short order have a great day thanks for watching